Congressman Paul, you've questioned the conservative, fiscal conservative credentials of all these gentlemen, but, but particularly this week, Senator Santorum. You have a new television ad that labels him a fake. Why? Because he's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> You're a phony. Hey, this guy's a great big phony. No, I find it really fascinating that uh, when people are running for office, they're really fiscally conservative. When they're in office, they do something different. And then when they explain themselves, they say, oh, I want to repeal that. Phony. That's right. You're a big, fat phony. Yeah. So the senator voted for uh, no child left behind. But now he voted for it. But now he's running on the effort to get rid of it. So You're a phony. Hey, this guy's a great big phony. So when asked, will I preserve and protect a woman's right to choose, I make an unequivocal answer, yes. No, I'm saying I changed my mind, and you can look at my record as governor, and, uh, and you can see in my record as governor that I have consistently been pro-life. I believe that abortion should be safe and legal in this country. I have since the time that my mom took that position when she ran in 1970 as a U.S. Senate candidate. I believe that since Roe v. Wade has been the law for 20 years, that we should sustain and support it. And I sustain and support that law. I will be a pro-life president. I'll appoint. So when I ran for office, I was effectively pro-choice. I didn't call myself pro-choice, but I said I... Just like I've been a pro-life governor. Phony! I... That's right! You're a big, fat phony! I believe, based on what I read, that the world, the world is getting warmer. Uh, and, and number two, I believe that humans contribute to that. So the idea of America spending massive amounts, trillions of dollars, to so somehow stop global warming is not a great idea. And so I think it's important for us to reduce our emissions of, of pollutants and greenhouse gases that may well be significant contributors to, uh, to the climate change and the, and the global warming that you're saying. You're a phony! Hey! This guy's a great big phony! You're only allowed a certain number of flips before people begin to doubt your character. Uh, and I think Romney exhausted his quota sometimes. Phony! Back. That's right. You're a big fat phony. I am for people, individuals, exactly like automobile insurance, individuals having health insurance and being required to have health insurance. But that is the individual mandate, is it not? It's a variation. I do not support a mandate. I am opposed to Obamacare. I am in support of the 26 attorney generals who have filed Fine. suit. You're a phony. Hey. This guy's a great big phony! My message, I think, is that the evidence is sufficient that we should move towards the most effective possible steps to reduce carbon loading of the atmosphere. And, and do I, it urgently. Now. Do it urgently. Yeah. We don't always see eye to eye, do we, Newt? No, but we do agree our country must take action to address climate change. That was a striking ad for me, a striking ad for, I think, a lot of Republicans. First of all, it's probably the dumbest single thing I've done in recent years. <laughs> I actually don't know where the global warming is occurring. I, I testified against cap and trade the same day that Al Gore testified in favor. Hey, you know who lives in this house? A great big phony! That's right, a phony lives here! A big, fat phony! Exercise a no-fly zone this evening. Uh, communicate to the Libyan military that Gaddafi was gone. This is a moment to get rid of him. Do it. Get it over with. I would not have intervened. I think there were a lot of other ways to affect Gaddafi. I think there are a lot of allies in the region that we could have worked with. I would not have used American and European forces. Now, so this idea of being fiscally conservative uh, now that we're running for office and we're going to repeal something that we did before, I mean, this, it loses credibility is, is what our problem is. So without caveats or explanations, please define yourself using one word and one word only. Congressman Paul? Consistent.